So you can see here that, see the beam kind of going underneath the tissue? We're going to try to basically still resect it in a sense, even though it's sessile. But here's the nice, the beauty of the, uh, the diode lasers. I can just get right underneath that. And it takes me, again, seconds to kind of remove this. Now what I'm going to do is go in here and ablate this sebaceous material. So again, it's the big question is when do we stop? And if you see this right here, you can still see the affected tissue right there. It's kind of a uh, pale color, which is consistent with the sebaceous glands. So we're going to continue to ablate. So again, I like to kind of pick up the tissue in between my fingers and then that way I can, uh, one, feel if there's any uh, masses that are there that are still, or remnants of the mass that's still remaining. And then two, uh, we can, it gives you better access to it. Kind of brings it to the forefront. Now some of you may be wondering why I'm not wearing gloves. Uh, basically, the, uh, I want to be able to feel the masses, feel the tissue and sometimes it gets very difficult with gloves. Uh, these are not aseptic procedures. Uh, so, and in fact, actually, the laser provides some sepsis, uh, asepsis for us by vaporizing all the bacteria, fungal particles, viral particles that might be actually within the tissue. So the benefit as well, uh, post-surgically, is basically there, it's capping off nerve root endings so uh, the pets don't actually feel any uh, itch sensation or uh, any pain uh, post-operatively associated with these uh, sites. Uh, it cauterizes so you don't have to worry about uh, bleeding post-operatively. And uh, it also seals lymphatics. So if you're, especially if you're doing uh, surgery on a lipoma, uh, it'll actually seal off the lymphatics and so you don't get a lot of post-operative seroma formation. Wiping is uh, very important uh, because our tissue basically tends to uh, need, we need the uh, water in the tissue to be absorbed by the infrared light it helps, as opposed to just going over and over and over SR, which is uh, the caramelized tissue. It'll just be more efficient for you. The benefit of the, uh, the diode as well over the CO2 is that we can actually work in multiple media. So if you've got, uh, we do a lot of surgery in the ear, and within the ear, uh, we can actually instill saline and still use the diode through the saline, which is quite beneficial because then it kind of keeps the heat down in the ear canal, minimizes any burn uh, that happens in the ear canal, very sensitive, moist tissue. I'm kind of doing a bit of a hash pattern. Make sure I kind of cover the whole surface area of the affected uh, lesion. And again, when do you stop? Uh, pick up the tissue between your fingers. And look for some healthy tissue underneath. 